a little bit quieter of a day, but what was it like playing in those conditions today? Yeah, it was uh, it was challenging. Um, you know, I think uh, with the wind blowing that hard, you just had to expect that every once in a while a shot was going to go somewhere you didn't want it to. And it happened a couple times to me, but I was able to grind through it with a few birdies and a few great par saves, and uh, so I'm happy with the result. Does it mindset change when you kind of knew conditions would be like that picking up in the afternoon? Um, you know, I think that the morning had heavy wind, and, you know, we had some wind and a little bit of rain at the end, so I think it was probably pretty even most of the day. But, um, you know, I think the key was I knew yesterday morning was going to be a nice day, and so I went out there with the attitude I need to have a good first round to get in position because I knew today would be tough. And then it was just a bonus day to go out there and play well in tough weather. Better conditions somewhat tomorrow. What would be a good round, good score tomorrow? Yeah, I think back on the four or five under par, uh, after the rain, the greens will be a little bit softer. And if the weather is similar to the first day, you know, we saw five, six under was, were the best scores. So, you know, four or five under par would be great. Any birdies or par saves stick out in particular from the day? Yeah, I had a, um, a bunch of good ones. I made some nice putts on eight for par. Uh, I hit it left of the green, shifted to about 15 feet and hold it. And then I hit it left of the green on 13 to par three and tough bunker shot, hit it to about 20 feet and made it for par. So those were big saves that uh, kept it going. Um, you know, and then the birdie 15 again for the second hander, that's a, that's a good long par three. So I'll take as many twos there as I can get. What's the rest of the evening look like for you? Well, we've been cooking at the house the last couple of nights. I'm staying with Grayson Sig, Lee Hodges, and Vince Whaley, and we've just been having a great time. So we'll be watching some basketball and hopefully eating in. Who's the best cook of that group? Are you guys having a um, cook? Lee Hodges has been surprisingly great. Yeah, he made uh, a good chicken and shrimp pasta the first night and then grilled steaks uh, two nights ago. So it's been a fun week. How are your skills in the kitchen? Not bad. I made uh, pepper jack chicken parmesan last night, uh, and I think everybody loved it. <laughs> Yeah. To us, think as he finished and you guys traded places. Just, what sort of inspiration do you get when you see a guy like that on the leaderboard as well? It's been out here such a long time. And, you know, yeah, and... I mean, longevity for one. You know, he's just uh, the pillar of doing the right thing um, in his life off the course and on the course. He's been such a hard worker, such a kind Christian man to so many people around him. So, you know, for I think all of us out here, he's a role model. Um, and I've been fortunate to know him now since my rookie year in 09, and that's about 15 years. I used to practice with him at TBC Sugarloaf, and you know, not a, not a better guy to uh, learn from than him. So it's, uh, it's cool to see him still playing well at 50 or 51. Not sure if you'll be paired together or in the same group tomorrow, but if you are, how much fun would that be? It would be awesome. Uh, he's just uh, you know, it's a great guy. I like his caddy crispy a lot as well, and so uh, you know, it would be, be a really solid pairing for us. Anything else? Yep, no, time to go.